Hello friends, welcome back to my channel BIO Tutorials. In this video, we will discuss about advantage of liquid fuels, disadvantage of liquid fuels, heating properties of fuel, relationship between GCV and NCV, laboratory determination of calorific value. In last video, we have discussed about determination of ultimate from proximate analysis, S and slag. Typical analysis of fuel oils, combustion of oils, properties of fuel. Some advantage of uh, liquid fuel as follows. Liquid fuel handling cost is uh, very low. Space occupied on storage is very less. Unburned loss is low. Efficient in burning and uh, controllability is very good. Loss in heat value on storage is negligible. Cleanness in handling is added advantage. Quick response in charge of firing rate and hence able to meet variable demand on load. Due to stabilized and controlled combustion boiler performance and availability improves. Development of manpower for handling is very minimum. Oil accounting and monitoring can be very accurately done. No large variation in heating value in different loads. Requirement of excess air is very low and hence considerable reduction in stack loss. High concentration of heat is realized per unit of volume capacity. Some disadvantage of liquid fuel as follows. Potential risk of explosion on storage, handling and in firing. Necessity for preheating the oil in the storage tank in cold climate to bring down the viscosity so that the flowability improves. Cost of liquid fuel is very high compared to coal. Physical and chemical properties of low HHV gasoline fuels as follows. Heating properties of fuel. When a fuel burn, it gives out heat energy. This is measured in heat units. Any quantity of heat is defined in term of the amount of heat required to rise the temperature of a given substance by 1 degree. 1 BTU is the amount of heat energy required to rise the temperature of 1 pound of water through 1 degree Fahrenheit. 1 CHU is the amount of heat energy required to rise the temperature of 1 kilogram of water through 1 degree centigrade. 1 calorie is the amount of heat energy required to rise the temperature of 1 gram of water through 1 degree centigrade and 1 kilocalorie is the amount of heat energy required to rise the temperature of 1 kilogram of water through 1 degree centigrade. So, 1 kilojoule is equal to 0.238846 kilocalorie. Calorific value. Calorific value is the heat value or the heat of combustion of a fuel. Calorific value is defined as the quantity of heat released when a unit quantity of fuel is burned completely. With S and the product of combustion is cooled to standard temperature of 298 degree Kelvin. It is measured in unit of BTU per LB or kilocalorie per kg or kilojoule per kg. Calorific value of carbon is 14,450 BTU per LB or 33,600 kilojoule per kg. Calorific value of hydrogen is 61,500 BTU per LB or 1,43,000 kilojoule per kg. Calorific value of sulfur is 4000 BTU per LB or 9300 kilojoule per kg. HCV and LCV of fuels. Majority of the fuels consist of hydrogen gas as one of the constituents. When the combustion take place, the hydrogen in fuel burn to form moisture. The moisture produced is again evaporated to steam. Because of application heat released due to burning of fuel, the moisture produced by burning of hydrogen in the fuel evaporates and rises. At superheated steam absorbing a part of the heat from the combustion of fuel. 
that is a part of the heat value of the fuel is spent in converting hydrogen into moisture and in evaporating and superheating and the quantity of heat spent in this process is not available for any other useful purpose higher or gross calorific value it is the gross or the total heat liberated by 1 kg or 1 cubic meter of fuel when completely burned out to S. It is the total heat of fuel when completely burned inclusive of the sensible and latent heat absorbed in the process of evaporating and superheating the moisture produced in burning hydrogen to water. Low or net calorific value it is net of the heat liberated per kilogram or per cubic meter of fuel after supply of the enthalpy necessary to vaporize the steam formed by combustion of hydrogen in the fuel. Here the enthalpy referred to is the heat absorbed for the evaporation of dry saturated steam at the standard atmospheric pressure of 760 mm of Hg. It is the gross calorific value minus the heat loss due to hydrogen. The net calorific value is taken into account while calculating boiler efficiency. In the boiler outlet gases, water remains in gaseous state and the latent heat is not recovered because the vapor is not condensed. Relationship between GCV and NCV We have seen that hydrogen in fuel burn to from water vapor. Let's see the chemical equation of hydrogen burning to water. 2H2 plus O2 is equal to 2H2O. It is seen that for every 2 unit by weight of hydrogen, 18 units by weight of water is formed. For every unit weight of hydrogen, 9 units of weight of water is produced. If H and HM are the percentage of hydrogen and inherent moisture in 1 kg of a fuel, when burned, then it is produced water vapor equivalent to 10 into 9H plus HM kg. Taking latent heat of water vapor at its vapor pressure of 0.0161 bar at 273 Kelvin to be 2.45 megajoule per kg. The heat carried away by water vapor is 24.5 into 9H plus HM plus HS. Where HS is the sensible heat of water between 25 degree Celsius and 100 degree Celsius in megajoules. Then the relationship between HHV and LHV will be LHV is equal to HHV minus 24.5 into 9H plus HM plus HS. Let's approach the same relationship in a different way considering the ultimate analysis of a fuel. Let's assume H, C, O and S are percentage constituents of fuel. Then net hydrogen available per kg of fuel will be H minus O divided by 8 kg. Where O by 8 is the part of oxygen already present in the fuel which would combine with hydrogen to form water as per Dulong's law. GCV is equal to 338.2 C plus 1442.8 into H minus O by 8 plus 94.2 S kilojoule per kg. This formula is good for fuels having carbon up to 80%. The most reliable formula over a wide range of fuels is given by Gourmet and Davies as given below. GCV is equal to 15.22H plus 937 into C by 3 plus H minus O minus S divided by 2 kilojoule per kg. For gaseous fuels, the CV in kilocalorie per meter cube can be calculated by making chemical analysis and then swimming up the heat evolved by the combustible constituents when burnt separately. Laboratory Determination of Calorific Value for solid or liquid fuel, bomb calorimeter is used to determine CV which gives almost an accurate measure. 
here solid or liquid fuel is burned at a constant volume in an atmosphere of oxygen. The bomb calorimeter is made of stainless steel vessel and consists of a base which supports the platinum crucible where the measured quantity of fuel is burnt. The top of the bomb carries an oxygen supply connection through which the bomb is charged with the oxygen and a product release valve. The selected sample of coal to be tested is reduced to powder form and then compressed in a bracket with add of a bracket mold. The weight of powdered sample of coal taken for the test is usually 1 gram and the calorimeter is filled with 2000 cc of water. The sample of coal is then placed in the platinum crucible. The iron fuse wire which surrounds the coal sample is connected to the lower end of the two electrodes. The electrodes extend through the base of the bone and connect the fuse wire to an electric circuit. The coal gets ignited by closing the electric circuit. The bomb is placed inside a copper vessel known as the calorimeter which contain a definite weight amount of water 2000 cc. A string device for agitating or string the water within the calorimeter is attached to the apparatus and it is worked by an electric motor. Thermometer is placed to measure the temperature of water and oxygen cylinder supply oxygen to the bomb to burn the coal. Temperature reading of the water in the calorimeter are taken at 1 minute interval for total 10 to 15 minutes. The heat generated by combustion of the sample of the coal is partially absorbed by the weight quantity of water in the calorimeter and partially by the metal of the bomb and the calorimeter the water equivalent of the bomb and the calorimeter is usually furnished by the manufacturer. The calorific value of the gas per cubic meter is determined by multiplying the weight of water passed in kg by the rise of temperature of the water in degree and then dividing the products by the volume of gas used in cubic meters. Here V2 is the volume of gas used, reduced to STP in meter cube is to be found out first. P1 V1 divided by T1 is equal to P2 V2 divided by T2. So V2 is equal to P1 V1 T2 divided by P2 T1 in meter cube. Now heat lost by gas is equal to heat gained by water. So FCV is equal to weight of water collected in kg into temperature rise in degree celsius divided by volume of gas burnt in cubic meter at STP. LCV is equal to HCV minus weight of condensate in kg into total heat recovered from condensate in kilocalorie per kg divided by volume of gas burnt in meter cube at STP. The heating value of some of gases given in table the hydrogen heating value is 3016 kilocalorie per meter cube. Carbon monoxide heating value is 3088 kilocalorie per meter cube. Methane heating value is 9372 kilocalorie per meter cube. Ethane heating value is 16572 kilocalorie per meter cube. Ethylene heating value is 14908 kilocalorie per meter cube. Acetylene heating value is 1,38,448 kilocalorie per meter cube. Combustion process and chemistry of combustion will describe in detail in next video. So friends, if you like this video then like and share. Also don't forget to subscribe this channel and press bell icon for getting notification of my upcoming videos.